So this is Broadhaven South Beach in Pembrokeshire. It is half past seven in the morning. And this is a nice time to come here and take in these surroundings around this area. So if we come down here now we can see the beach in front of us. The sun just starting to rise. Haven't been down here before. You're gonna go that way, one way system. Ah right. So what they've done is they've put a one-way system in place, I'm assuming it's because of coronavirus. So we've got to follow this round here now. Not the easiest way. We're going to go down there. Huh? Well, this is a bit precarious, isn't it? To get down to the beach, I'm going to be careful here. Because this sand is very loose. And it's not very wide. Huh? No, I was thinking that. I don't think there was any need to actually do this. Considering there's no hardly any, well, there is nobody else here apart from one person walking their dog on the beach. As you can see, this is one of the most spectacular beaches, I think, pretty much anywhere. And I know that a lot of the guidebooks have shown it or recommend it. It's one of the best beaches in Europe, if not the world. As you can see, absolutely stunning. Really precarious by here, but we'll be careful. With a lot of slippy sand. Down on the beach. I say one of the most spectacular beaches, I think, pretty much anywhere. You gotta walk to it, but like all good things. It's worth the effort. The sun's coming up. Quarter to eight in the morning. My brother's getting himself set up now to do some photography. So as I say, we'll uh, spend an hour or so here just chilling out. And Get back home for some breakfast afterwards. So We didn't need to do that. No, I don't think we did actually. 
Where's the way back up then? Oh, just to the side. Ah. Come on, look at that. Look at that rock there. So, let me take you around the beach here a bit, I think, and have a look. So, as you can see, beautiful morning here, South Pembrokeshire, West Wales, United Kingdom. A few people have been on the beach this morning, by the said. It's one of those places that uh, are definitely relaxing. This is... Uh, considered to be one of the best beaches in the world according to a lot of guidebooks. I think the Lonely Planet guide said it was one in, in the top 10. <coughs> and it's basically right on my doorstep. Just 15 miles away. A lovely place. My brother's just behind me, get set up, set himself up, take some photographs. And he's going to spend some time taking some photos. And then we'll head off back then. I just thought it'd be nice to let people see what this place looks like. How good it is, how nice it is. How peaceful it is at this time of the morning. Middle of August. So yeah. I'll catch up with you a little late, later. <laughs> Supposedly, which if you do look at it, it does look like it, but people say that they look the rock out there on the water looks like a gorilla and if you look at it yeah it pretty much does it does look like a gorilla now when you say it Taking photographs seems to be a lot like fishing. You have to wait around for that perfect moment, which may never come. But when it does, it looks pretty spectacular.